I made this uh, video to talk about the daily war number. Now most of the times when we have a stock and we are playing an intraday strategy, we do not have a way to quantify how risky our strategy would be and what are the war numbers for uh, different stocks that we want to play with. Uh, to find that out, I am pulling the implied volatility for uh, for the stocks that uh, uh, median average uh, consensus price and finding the normal uh, var. So like for example here I am pulling Google's uh, current price which is 734.32 the annual estimate which is the price after one year I am also pulling the uh, the daily volatility uh, which is the weighted uh, average uh, volatility uh, and and then I am uh, taking also the consensus return, converting them into daily numbers, uh, finding out what the price would uh, look like at the end of the day as per consensus estimate, uh, bringing volatility from uh, annual to daily, and then finding out uh, the normal war. So for example, as per this analysis, the least war is uh, XOM. Let's try to understand what this would do. So I'm going to Yahoo Finance. I'm going to search for this thing. And one of the reasons why this has less war might be because the volatilities are very low. Let's double check. So XOM has very less volatility like 30.9 while this AA has the highest. So if I go here, I'm pulling the data from options. So right now I'm pulling the data from options and if you see here the heavier calls because I'm taking a weighted average of volatility like this is just 6.25 the most rated option which is the most rated option here the most rated option here is this one the biggest 3.13 which means that uh, buying uh, an option on uh, Exxon Mobile is quite cheaper. And I'm pulling the consensus return. So let's see what the consensus return looks like. So current price is 87 and the consensus uh, median is low. So they believe that the prices are going to come down after one year. They they think uh, they are uh, the prices uh, is overvalued. So the consensus return here on Exxon Mobile is 85.5. Uh, uh, this is 85.9. Uh, and which means that the annual return is very less so uh, going to the upside is less and um, the volatility is the lowest let's check this AA to understand the same idea so this AA oops, this AA is uh, showing the highest volatility which is Alcoa whatever that says I'm going to options to see to find out why the volatility is higher. So that the highest traded option has a volatility of 12.5 here and here it's 50. The highest traded volatility here is 50 here is 12.5 and here it's 317. I think this one is uh, bringing uh, things uh, very high uh, when we are taking the weighted average. So this might uh, bring the volatility up and that's why the volatility is very high. And when we have these numbers, we can calculate uh, by normal distribution a 99% 99, uh, 99 war, which would, uh, uh, which would help us to find out which of them is the most risky. So as per this estimate, Google is the least risky and this A is the highest risky. The second highest risky is uh, BA because it has got a very high volatility. Um, um, and uh, on the upside they say that it can go to 142 so this is a daily var calculation sheet now I am I have recycled this sheet from an already available sheet um, that brings value all the time and I have created a scrapper which would uh, pull all the values so this scrapper would pull all the values and put it here and this is uh, the final uh, numbers that we will have 